In this episode of Daniel and Joey, watch us go to Joey's birth village, visit his childhood house, see the tea plantations and some really old temples, make dumplings and give red packets with money, and most importantly, celebrate Chinese New Year. You'll learn the difference between Buddhism, Confucianism and Taoism. We'll have lots of fun! The morning of day four on the trip starts with us going to Tieshan village again for lunch. Check out this traditional Chinese stove. There is bamboo inside keeping the fire. Food, glorious food. If you're not familiar with the Chinese round table that can spin, here is your chance. So yeah, convenient, right? Whenever you want something, you don't have to reach far, you just have to spin the table. Let's see what we got here today. Tofu, greens, ginger, chicken soup, potatoes, braised pork, pig skin, bamboo, and pig intestines. And now that we're done with the food, there is an even more exciting trip coming up. We're going to Jiangshan, a nearby village where Joey was born and lived for the first eight years of his life. Here we are in Jiangshan. Even Joey hasn't been to this place for about eight years now. So we're looking for the house that he was born and grew up in. Oh, wait, wait, wait. First, a disaster is going to happen. Oops, I dropped him in the mud. Sorry. The house needs to be rebuilt completely. But imagine revisiting the home that you spent your childhood at for the first time in eight years. Feels like I'm about to witness something extraordinary. I've never been to a traditional Chinese house before. Every place I've been to has been rebuilt according to modern standards and therefore lost some of its charm. Wow, that's me. I've been driving for 20 Mm. Mm, <laughs> Joey grew up in this place, so he is truly familiar with the village childhood. Whereas his brother, Ije, was already born in a big city, Xiamen. So for him, this place is a place that he only visited a few times while on vacation at Grandma's. <laughs> Joey dreams to rebuild this house one day. But I hope, when that happens, it does not lose the charm of a traditional Chinese house, the way some other houses around did. And luckily, there are still houses like that around. A little destroyed, a little old, a little worn out, but charming. And with this, 
I fall in love with Jiangshan a little bit. After all, this is the place that has brought Joey to this world. Next, Joey shows me a temple that he used to go a lot to as a kid. <laughs> Look at the greenery behind the temple up the mountain. Those are tea plantations. And part of the mountain belongs to Joey. So that is where we headed next. Before we leave this magical place, there is one more temple we have to visit, another temple that Joey used to enjoy a lot as a kid. And on this note, we say bye bye Jiangshan. The following day is the day of the New Year's Eve, and there is a lot to be done. First, Joey and his mom make dumplings for all of us. Dumplings are made in the shape of ancient Chinese money, so they are meant to bring wealth to you in the new year. <laughs> then we have to decorate the door with the couplets for good luck in the new year. Our third mission is called the Red Packet. The Red Packets are envelopes with money that you give to the people that you love, especially kids, on the New Year's Eve. Idra has been waiting for this for the whole year, so you've got to see his reaction. Okay, we pranked him. There's only 5 RMB inside. This is what devastation looks like. And look at his face now! He's already counting all the things he's gonna buy with this money. Okay, give us a hug first at least. So now we're free. Grandma gives us some sugar cane and we're off for a little walk. And here is our New Year's dinner. Let's look what's on the table. Some more greens, white mushrooms, beans, chicken rings, tofu, potatoes, chicken legs, sweet and sour fish, duck claws, pork ribs, braised pork, rice dessert, and chicken soup. Ooh, that's a lot of stuff. Bon appetit! And now for the most exciting part, the fireworks and the firecrackers. On this night, they're absolutely everywhere, and it's even kind of scary. It is believed that the noise of the crackers will chase the evil spirits away, and it's also become a fun tradition for everyone. Okay, there you go, here I am trying this for the first time in my life. Now, I must say, people here are absolutely fearless. Me and Ija are terrified of everything that's going on around us. There's like a couple of minutes left until 12. And the fireworks are starting everywhere right now. Everywhere. Day of the new year starts for me with a waffle and water with sugar all for good luck and for money to find me in the new year it's raining and there's not a lot of people outside but we are doing something exciting again we are going to see four different temples and explore the three main religions of china confucianism buddhism and taoism we start downhill with a buddhist temple Actually, all the temples you've seen before in this video are Buddhist temples. You can say that Buddhism is the most popular religion in China, even though China is not a very religious country. Or at least that's the way you see it in big cities. Buddhism has come here about 2000 years ago from India, and it is believed that there are many Buddhas, and the Buddha is actually a state of mind that you can achieve once you reach enlightenment. Okay, up the hill we go. Yuichi is not excited about this. Confucian temple, this way. Can we go home now? 
We asked you in the morning if you wanted to come and you said yes, so... Why did I agree to this? Confucianism is basically all about the teachings of Confucius. He's not a god, he is a teacher, and one of his main ideas was that everyone has the right to study, regardless of their social background. However, since Confucius is not a god, Confucianism is not really a religion. Further up the hill, we arrive to a Taoist temple. Lao Tzu was an ancient Chinese philosopher who was teaching to live in harmony with nature and not interfere with things too much. Simplicity, patience and compassion are some of the most important virtues of Taoism, which has also evolved to become the first religion to originate in China. Also the balance of all the forces in the world is represented by yin and yang, a very famous symbol for China. It also comes from Taoism. Further up the hill we find a Confucian monastery that was built here in the name of a local sage that used to preach here in the ancient China. The ideas of Confucianism, Taoism and Buddhism are mostly philosophical and most of them do not contradict each other. Which is why it's okay for Chinese people to pray in any of those temples. In the next episode of Daniel and Joey, we are going to Salmon, where you will see us go crazy at the beach, go crazy in the streets, go crazy in an amusement park, but also explore the famous spots of Salmon. We'll take you to the Guinness World Record Hulishan Fort, up and down on some crazy roller coaster rides, and to the UNESCO heritage listed Kulang Island. And did I tell you we're gonna go crazy? Don't miss all the fun on Daniel and Joey! New episode coming out next Friday!